They are the kings of the sky, the shooting stars of the French Air Force, the pilots of the Patrouille de France. Their planes fly at 600 kilometers an hour, just three meters apart. These aerial daredevils are on the island of Corsica, putting the finishing touches to their latest routine. Today, like for a stage play, they're preparing for the dress rehearsal. To the sound of their leader's voice, right ear, cadence, they follow the pre-flight briefing. And veer right. Which these artists of the air call cadence, cadence. a good cadence. The music. Slow a little. Begin to climb. Cut smoke. One beat. And we're out into loops. Diamond formation. Beat. And right turn. Reverse to right now. Before everybody. Cadence. And smoke. Cut smoke. Roll. The flight is physically exhausting, but it's even more mentally exhausting. The run-through which we do on the ground ensures we don't forget anything. The patrol always says something that isn't done in the briefing won't be done in the flight. So they need to learn to be in their bubbles, to focus inside their bubbles, and go through the same processes of mental imaging, whatever the environment. When the pilots leave the briefing, they're already in the air. Each of them concentrates in their own way. A final salute between pilots and their mechanics. For the whole team, this flight will be decisive. From the ground in Corsica, the rest of the team observes the acrobatics. Athos 9 keeps a close eye on his teammates. He's the reserve pilot. Correction. No correction. No correction. An elite reserve because he's the most experienced pilot in the patrol. He has to be able to fill in for any of the team members except the leader. Leader, je vais le quatre. The Alpha Jets go through the figures one by one. And then it's the finale. Into the finale in three. Finale smoke, talk, talk, and talk. Cut smoke. That was great. That was great. Not a missed beat, not a single mistake. The reserve pilot congratulates his teammates. There's still a little bit of work to do to be perfect in this fantastic venture. You're a very fine team. Great job, everyone. With the dress rehearsal over, the pilots can now dress in their traditional sky blue, the symbol of the Patrouille de France. Since the patrol was founded in 1953, its members have formed a very close-knit brotherhood. Cette équipe de volontaires sélectionnés sera nouvelle sans cesse. Y avoir appartenu est une référence de choix. Lara Yadieu, 30 ans, chef de patrouille, premier charognard. Canepa, 30 ans, chef de patrouille, deuxième charognard. Here's Georges Canepa, 50 years later. For the past half a century, he has kept in touch with his former patrol mates. There are many professions in which people meet up 50 years later with so much pleasure. There was a fantastic feeling of camaraderie in the Air Force. The guys really have to count on each other, and that influences the rest of your life. The Patrouille de France was founded during the Cold War, when every country had its national aerial team to show off its technological prowess and the excellence of its pilots. La Patrouille de France parafe sa présentation par un gigantesque feu d'artifice en faisant éclater en plein ciel des gerbes multicolores formant le plus étonnant bouquet que puissent offrir les ailes françaises. Today, the veterans are still on the edge of the runway at Salon de Provence, 
in a special enclosure for high-ranking officers. This year's patrol must still receive the approval of the chief of staff of the French Air Force in person before he greenlights the year of work ahead. At takeoff, the pilots know that for 20 minutes, every trajectory and every figure will be ruthlessly scrutinized by the generals. On landing, the men in sky blue know they have pulled off a faultless flight. They will now be able to give dozens of performances across France and overseas.